Hello there. Hi. Welcome to the bout. I am Blade Livingston from Omaha Northwest High School. This is microphone. Okay. This poem is untitled. Dreams reside in clouds above my head, creating fantasies of how life my life could have been. Given I was rich, given I was born flawless, given that I wasn't such a pushover. But that doesn't matter because in that little cloud above my head, anything is possible. Everything is possible. I'd be out of my deadbeat job, scanning, bagging, scanning, bagging, trying to create diamonds out of coal while my superiors laugh at my efforts. I'd be out of my household filled with childish gossip and idiotic arguments. I'd be out of my personal prison, able to do what I need to do to let me succeed because I don't need to impress anybody. Dreams are locked inside a little box called a skull, inside a little animal called a brain. These are, there are crazy cold medicine dreams, there are the realistic horror movie visions, there are the deja vu dreams that freak me out, but the biggest dreams, like a being a doctor, a professor, an actor, a writer. Those go beyond the little box into the thought bubble like in the comic books they tell me I'm too old for, but that means they're the most easiest to crush. Every time I let this cloud out, I know someone. It could be anyone, really. All I know is that someone sooner or later will take those dreams and grind them to dust. It's happened before plenty of times. Tears run down my face as I try to grab at the remains of my aspirations, which are falling unpredictably like pieces of dead confetti celebrating the end of my future. I've been alive for less than two decades, but at this point, I'm already dead because my dreams are dust bunnies, doomed to die every time I think they're safe to resurrect. They are the only way I can hope to get out of my own dark hole of self-pity. My dreams of what could have been are crumpled and thrown into the curb by those who want to keep me grounded at the cost of my happiness. I've been eaten piece by piece by the sharks of reality and the swimming through the ocean of hope. Hope, they tell me, is just a distraction from the road I'm supposed to go on. I have a single tunnel to walk through, but I'm only following mindless sheep who don't know there's a cliff on the other side. And I'm, as they've fallen down to an abyss of self-loathing that I've fallen into hundreds of times, I'm only a freak of nature. I'm the scientist and the monster rolled into one. I've got the rebellious mad mind of an angry soul and the mentality of someone doomed for failure every time I dare to dream. Gravity has a way of pulling me back down to earth. And over time, the pain of crashing to the ground at terminal velocity won't even phase me because despite the vulnerability and the hurt I go through every time, I will not stop dreaming. Because not dreaming is worse than falling into that abyss. Because if I don't dream of a better future, one where anything is possible, one where everything is possible, I won't have one. <laughs>